everybody, Laura Basson here for Alta New. Thank you so much for joining me. In this video, I'm going to share a very colorful geometric project featuring the new geometric flower stamp set by Alta New. Here's the stamp set. It's gorgeous. It's got these great geometric designs. I am taking just one of the spirally, kind of a almost like a floral petal. Here's what it is. I'm going to stamp that around and around, overlapping until I go full circle. This takes me back to back in the day when I was a kiddo, I had a spirograph. Did you guys have one of those? Probably a lot of card makers had them and um, they still sell them. Been around for ages, got these like gears and wheels and you take your pen and your marker and you can go around and around and create these intricate, amazing spiral designs. I loved it. And this is just like that. So once I got that, I went round and round with Versamark ink, embossed it in clear. And now I'm gonna go over it with some Alta New inks. I've got my little Ranger mini ink blenders here. I started with Coral Berry, and now I'm doing some Warm Sunshine. And I love this, going in rainbow order, hello. And when the Coral Berry and the Warm Sunshine overlap, you get a gorgeous orange mixture between the two. Now I'm going in with some Volcano Lake, and that's gonna overlap with the warm sunshine as well. Lots of magic happening here with the overlapping. We've got Caribbean Sky, and the final color is Midnight Violet. These colors, this rainbow happening here with the geometric design, I'm telling you, it's making my heart go pitter-patter. It's right, it's speaking to my heartstrings, pulling on my heartstrings. And then to finish it off, just a little something, something. I did a little flicking with my Gonzai Tombi. I've got some white flicks, and then I'm going in with just a little, just a little smidge of some black flicks. I just couldn't stop. You know when you can't stop and you're thinking, should I go there? Well, I went there. Now, I noticed my design is not completely centered. So I'm taking my little paper trimmer and I'm trimming this down until I get it centered. I also want it to be just a little bit smaller than my card base. I do that a lot. I trim my panels a little bit smaller than my card base and then I pop it up and you kind of get that bit of a white frame around the sides. I just kind of like my thing. And then I'll take a sentiment. Here it is. Stay beautiful. I love these modern clean lines on these fonts. I'm going to put that right in the center of my spiral design. So I took a pencil so that I could mark. It's only about a fourth of an inch, maybe even smaller. I don't know, but I wanted to mark it because I'm going to crop this with my paper trimmer. I know I'm chopping it right in the middle. Gasp. And then I'm going to emboss my sentiment in black and it's going to go right in the center. So I've got my black cardstock here. I'm taking my Misty. I'm going to line this all up so I know exactly where I want to emboss my sentiment. So I've got, once I got everything all lined up with the magnets, I'm going to ink up my sentiment with Versamark ink, stamping it down. This is the great thing about the Misty because you get perfect placement every single time. And then I'm going to use white embossing powder. And you can see here that uh, I got some extra sticking where I did not want it to go. So I took my dry uh, brush, a dry paint brush, and you can easily get off all that. I do this every time. I just don't always show it on my videos, but I always go in with a dry brush or a tweezer or something and get off every little bit of embossing powder that is not where it's supposed to be. I'm like a mad scientist, I'm not gonna lie. I guess it's what you would call obsessive compulsive disease with card making. <laughs> so I'm just finishing this off, assembling everything, popping up my geometric little panels, and then I'm popping up the whole entire panel onto a card base to finish it off a few sparkling clear sequins and this card is finished. I am in love with this rainbow geometric goodness. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for joining me. Have a wonderful day and I will see you next time.